Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be doing some hardware upgrades to the $5 Windows 98 PC. Now the last one of these videos that I did was actually six months ago and that was that CPU upgrade video. And today's video, as you can probably tell, is going to be all about sound. A viewer named Travis got in contact with me a little while ago and pointed me in the direction of the original speakers that came with this computer when it sold back in the year 2000. And what's even cooler is this specific set that I have here has never been opened before. These are brand new right from the factory. Obviously they've been sitting somewhere for 20 years, but today we're going to be opening them for the very first time. We're going to be plugging them into this computer and seeing how they sound. We'll be testing them out and yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get started with it. All right, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and open this box up. So one of the things that I want to show you is on the front here, or on the top rather, this is really cool. This is the original sticker right here. You see it says Gateway 2000. Uh, it has their old address on here. Now this was shipped out. This is the uh, shipping label. I've, I've just covered up the old address here with this uh, label from eBay that the seller used to ship it out to me. Um, but these people were the original owner because this address had the same name of the return address on this sticker. So like I said, this has never been opened. We're gonna be opening it for the very first time. So let's go ahead and cut the safety seal right here. And we are going to open this up. So there we go. So it's got uh, yep, one of these here check that out so here is our power adapter so we're gonna pull this out now these are not gateway branded speakers they're actually from Cambridge Soundworks as you can see right there they don't have any gateway branding on them as far as I can tell but like you saw this came straight from gateway uh, so we're going to pull one of these out here and yeah you can see there it is right there Cambridge Soundworks uh, I saw the, actually the viewer who um, made me aware of this listing on eBay sent me a promotional video for this same computer and it had it set up on a desk with the monitor and these speakers and I could see in the video that they had the exact same design. Uh, so here is some more information about the company. They're out of Newton, Massachusetts. And yeah, so we're going to set this one aside and we've got the other speaker right here and this is the... Uh, if you want to call it the base unit that actually connects to the computer. So it's got this cord here, which is uh, still in this part of the cardboard. So we're going to take that out here and just grab this. So this is the cable that actually connects to the computer right here. And that is everything. We'll go ahead and put this piece of cardboard back in here. There are no manuals or anything like that in the box. Oh, wait a second. There are. In this sleeve right here, there is a piece of paper and we'll pull that out. Let me make sure there's nothing else. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so we'll set the box aside. And right here, this manual, yep, Cambridge Soundworks GCS 200. And you see you've got the gateway um, branding right there. I believe this was at a time when they were in the process of transitioning from the Gateway 2000 name to just Gateway because you saw the sticker on the box said Gateway 2000 with their old logo. This right here says Gateway. The monitor says Gateway. This computer obviously just says Gateway. It's got the new logo. But this is exactly how it looked in the original uh, promo video um, that I was talking about. And it tells you basically how to set it up, or at least it's got a bit of a diagram there. So it's got the two speakers. We're going to, uh, well, let me just unwrap these, I guess. We're not completely done yet. We can just tear this uh, plastic right here if it wants to come off. It looks like, this just looks like scotch tape. You see, <laughs> you see that? It just looks like scotch tape, but I guess that's how it was wrapped because, I mean, like I said, the box was sealed. So we'll pull this one out. And man, they look pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. So there's one of them. And we'll grab the other one here. And yeah, again, we've got that like scotch tape, literally. That <laughs> doesn't that look like scotch tape? It is. I mean, kind of funny. All right. So this cable is already out of the bag, but we'll. Pop it out here. Oh, and here's your headphone port, by the way. If you you know still want to use a pair of headphones, you can just plug it into here. Obviously, this one has the volume and tone controls here, so 
It's got that little click if you're able to hear that because this is what turns it off. Um, and yeah, so that is our base unit. And then we've got, this is the cable right here. So we're gonna untie this. And here is our cable that goes into the computer. So this computer already has a uh, built-in sound card. So we're just gonna use that for this video. And uh, I'm gonna get this all set up. I'm gonna turn the uh, computer on, get us, you know, get this all plugged in. And uh, we'll take a look at how these speakers, or I guess hear how they sound. Alright everybody, so here it is. We've got the speakers plugged in, we've got the 98 PC set up, and this setup is almost complete. I mean, all we need is the monitor and, well, the keyboard and mouse, because I'm still using that monorail keyboard and the good old HP PS2 mouse that we always use uh, in this particular setup here. But I think the next thing I'm going to be looking out for is this monitor right here, because that would be pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and turn on the monitor, we're going to turn on the computer itself, and we're going to turn on the speakers as well. Oh my gosh. Man, it's been a while since I've... Well, not a while since I've heard that sound, but heard it like on a... On period specific hardware. I mean, I deal with virtual machines all the time and obviously I have sound set up in that, but man, that was just really cool to hear. So let's go to our sounds uh, panel here in the control panel. And we'll go through some some sounds. Yep, and they they definitely work. So, you guys probably I mean, well, we can just turn the volume up, but it's probably yeah. Well, I mean, that probably sounded louder to me than it did to you guys. But uh, and we've got this uh, this tone dial here, which will you know. So now it kind of sounds very bassy, and we can turn this all the way up. And yeah, so it was set down to here. We'll probably have it in like the middle. That would be because there's actually a bit of a lock there, like when you kind of move it to the middle, it uh, wants to kind of stay in place there. So yeah, that's that's probably the standard setting. But again, it was set to this really bassy setting initially. But yeah, so that is, let's go ahead and play the Windows startup sound again. Start Windows. Man, it's just so cool just to hear that in this setup. So we could just end the video off here, but I think this would be a pretty short video by MJD standards, especially one in this style. So we're going to have a little fun and install a game. And what is that game going to be? It's going to be Half-Life. Yeah, we're going to install Half-Life. This is the Game of the Year edition. And uh, yeah, I do have this. I mean, I have it on Steam as well, but I've got the, the physical copy. I've also got Blue Shift and Opposing Force which is really neat. So we're going to install this, and this game came out in 1999. This computer is again from the year 2000, so this is going to be period-specific hardware that we're going to be running this this game on, and this is actually the first time that I've played uh, Half-Life, or just any old kind of 90s game on this computer. This, this computer really hasn't been used for gaming at all. So now that we've got sound, uh, we're going to get the full experience. So I think I'm going to adjust the camera so you guys can see the screen a little bit better. All right, so I've got the camera a little bit closer to the monitor here, but now you've got the speakers in frame as well. Um, but I, I did push the computer off to the side. So we're going to install Half-Life. And I wonder when the last time this disc was used. It's probably been a while. <laughs> uh, so setup is running tests on your system. Oh, there you go. So it was playing a uh, sound file, asks us if we heard it. Yes, we did. Uh, and we'll just go through the setup here. So C, Sierra Half-Life. All right, so setup has finished. We'll click OK there. And the setup is detected an up-to-date version of DirectX and will not attempt to update it. Great. There may be updates. Uh, well, we're not going to be able to get them because this computer is not connected to the internet at the moment. And it tells us to register now, which we're not going to do either. Okay, please ensure you're running the latest drivers appropriate. And yeah, let's just launch Half-Life. Let's do it. Okay, and here's where it asks us for the CD key. So let me type that in. Here we go. And turn this down a little bit here.
gosh. Yeah, when was the last time that you saw Half-Life with the Sierra startup screen? <laughs> We've got the classic Valve uh, screen here. Not powered by Source. <laughs> so we're not going to play through the entire game, although if you guys want me to <laughs> start like a gaming channel or something, let me know. Um, let's, yeah, let's do difficult. I'm mean, only going to play through like the first, you know, few <laughs> few minutes of the game here. Here we go. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is... Oh my gosh, the mouse acceleration. <laughs> Holy... Let me turn this down a little bit. Okay. So we gotta change... Oh my gosh, the mouse acceleration is awful. I up 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from level 3 dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for- There's the G-Man. One of the many, you know, times he appears in the game. And we're almost there. At Sector C test labs and control facilities. Yeah, I didn't make you guys sit through the entire uh, train ride, but we made it. We just gotta load. <laughs> Please stand back from the automated door. No, nah, I'll just stand right next to it. How about that? What are you gonna do about it? Here we are. So we're gonna bypass the <laughs> everything, all the dialogue up there. Um, yeah, we're not gonna play through the entire game, obviously, because, well, that would take way too long. Man, it's been it's been a little while since I've played the first version of Half Life. But yep, we got to get over here, get the HEV. There we go. So yeah, I think we'll just get up the elevator maybe, and then we'll uh, then we'll stop, hop in, we'll head on down rather. And you know what? We're gonna take the the ladder. I don't, I don't feel like waiting in the elevator. I'm like trying to find a good place to stop. You know what? Let's just go through the... Do they need me in the test chamber? Yes, of course. They're waiting for you, Gordon. There it is. In the test chamber. Test chamber. All right. I do my. Oh yeah, one of these dudes got to come up and do the. Do the retina scan. See, why don't I have access? To image. For, oh gosh. Yeah, you think that would be a sign they would go? You know what? Maybe we shouldn't do this test today. Uh, it's fine. Let's just go on through. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't want to hear all this. He's a highly trained... Access. Denied. Access. Yeah. Denied. I'm a highly trained whoever that doesn't have access to the... <laughs> it doesn't have, like, the ability to do the retina scan to get access to this. Let him in now. All right, here it is. So yeah, we're just gonna do the initial thing here, where you know we cause the whole outbreak. So we're gonna go up here. Uh, it's probably not a problem, probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy. In, well, no, it's well within exactly. Yeah, that's the problem. End it. End it right now. We're all gonna die. The sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you any moment. Sample is ready. Here it is, coming up. All right. 
Alright, so long everyone. Get away from it. <laughs> get away from it. Get get as far away as you can. But we're not gonna open the door. Oh my gosh. We see the the border world Zen. We get a little glimpse of it here, right? Any second. Oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh no. And we're back on Earth. Almost. I'm still running around. No, this is a uh, still on Zen. And you know what, I think that's where we're going to end it off. Yeah, Unforeseen Consequences. Gosh, this is such a good game. It's just been a while since I've played it. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is... There you go. Now we've got speakers on the 98 PC. Yeah, we played a little bit of Half-Life. Um, like I said, if you guys want me to do like some gaming content, maybe not on this channel, maybe I'll start like another channel or maybe like a Twitch channel for that. Um, because, yeah, I used to do a lot of gaming content on this channel, but we kind of, uh, well, it, it used to be kind of tech, then it went into gaming, and then we did kind of gaming and tech at the same time. Now we mainly do technology-related stuff, vintage tech stuff, as you guys, you know, see all the time on this channel. But it's nice to do something different every once in a while, and, well, old games go hand-in-hand -hand with uh, with old computers. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to, uh, to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.